Construct an OJIVE of the test scores. Let's construct an OJIVE chart of the test scores. An OJIVE is a graphical representation of a cumulative frequency distribution. It uses a class boundary and cumulative frequency. To construct an OJIVE, we need the values of the class boundaries and the values of the cumulative frequencies. This time, we are going to find the less than cumulative frequency as well as the greater than or more than cumulative frequency. To find the class boundaries, just subtract 0.5 from each of the lower limits and add 0.5 to each of the upper limits. For scores 22 to 24, the lower limit is 22 and the upper limit is 24. Subtract 0.5 from 22 and add 0.5 to 24. The class boundaries are 21.5 to 24.5, 18.5 to 21.5, 15.5 to 18.5, 12.5 to 15.5, and 9.5 to 12.5. Now that we have our class boundaries, let's find the less than cumulative frequency. To find the less than cumulative frequency, copy the frequency of the lowest class interval, then add the frequency of the next upper class interval. The frequency of the lowest class interval is 4. So 4 plus 8 is 12, 12 plus 7 is 19, 19 plus 6 is 25, 25 plus 5 is 30. Let's add another column for the coordinates of the less than ojive. To understand better what these values are, let's answer this question. How many students got scores less than 24.5? The answer is 30. So the coordinates are 24.5, 30, 21.5, 25, 18.5, 19, 15.5, 12, 12.5, 4. And we have to include the lower boundary of the lowest class interval, which is 9.5. The same question, how many students got scores less than 9.5? The answer is 0. Now let's find the values of the greater than or more than cumulative frequency. To find the greater than cumulative frequency, copy the frequency of the highest class interval, then add the frequency of the next lower class interval. The frequency of the highest class interval is 5, so 5 plus 6 is 11, 11 plus 7 is 18, 18 plus 8 is 26, 26 plus 4 is 30. Let's pair these values to the class boundaries so that we can have our coordinates for the more than ojive. This time our questions are, how many students got scores greater than 24.5? The answer is 0. How many students got scores greater than 21.5? The answer is 5. How many students got scores greater than 18.5? 11. How many students got scores greater than 15.5? 18. How many students got scores Greater than 12.5, 26. How many students got scores greater than 9.5, 30. Okay, let's construct an OJIVE chart using three simple steps. Draw, plot, and connect. First, draw the axis of coordinates and label. The values along the horizontal line are the class boundaries and the values along the vertical line are the cumulative frequencies. Next, plot the points. By convention, a less than ojive begins on the horizontal axis 
at the lower class boundary of the lowest class interval. The number of students who got scores less than 9.5 is 0. The number of students who got scores less than 12.5 is 4. The number of students who got scores less than 15.5 is 12. The number of students who got scores less than 18.5 is 19. The number of students who got scores less than 21.5 is 25. And the number of students who got scores less than 24.5 is 30. Draw, plot, then connect. Connect the points. Now, this is our less than ojive. Let's plot the points for the more than ojive. The number of students who got more than 24.5 is 0. The number of students who got more than 21.5 is 5. The number of students who got more than 18.5 is 11. The number of students who got more than 15.5 is 18. The number of students who got more than 12.5 is 26. And the number of students who got more than 9.5 is 30. Connect the points. An ogive is a graph that shows how many data values lie above or below a particular value in a data set.